Hi and welcome to my first tutorial. Uh, tutorial about how to uh, disassemble and scavenge parts from a microwave. Um, we're gonna take apart this microwave that was donated to me. Um, gonna uh, disassemble it completely, take out all the parts and see what we get. Okay, so we've opened up the microwave and have a nice good look uh, in the interior. Um, the thing that is uh, most uh, notable is the um, MOD, the microwave oven transformer, the high voltage transformer here, um, which is connected to the magnetron, the part that actually generates the HF. Uh, we see the high voltage cap, uh, high voltage capacitor down here. Uh, we see a fan that I talked about, um, here is a thermostat uh, which shuts down the whole device um, if it overheats. Down here we have a relay, I don't know if you can see that very well, um, which uh, actually uh, regulates the power, so um, it's basically a pulse width modulation um, uh, that is used if uh, the power is regulated down. Um, a little bell and some micro switches that I talked about earlier um, and a little snubber circuit on the top that you probably can't see very well um, but that can be useful. So the thing that is most important is uh, to take care of first is to discharge the uh, high voltage capacitor because uh, the charge that um, might be contained within a HV cap uh, is uh, downright lethal. Um, so uh, we're just first gonna really uh, observe uh, how it's wired and we can see that one lead goes to the um, to the casing of the microwave uh, over uh, this uh, transformer and the other lead uh, goes right into, into the mod. Um, so basically we're uh, gonna take care of that first because it's the most dangerous part of the microwave. Gonna take out the fan first and then we're gonna take care of the cap. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is short circuit it. Uh, so I'm going to touch this one. And now I got to be careful and I'm going to short circuit the other one. But as you can see, there was no charge. Uh, I'm going to store that short circuited just for good measure. And uh, now we can cut all the wires and take it, take it apart. Uh, so now uh, we have successfully taken uh, taken out the microwave uh, oven capacitor. It's a one microfarad, um, 1800 volts uh, capacitor, and uh, the high voltage diode. It's a HVR1X, uh, manufactured in 1987. Okay, so uh, we're gonna proceed uh, to the. Um, to the microwave oven transformer now and uh, going to see if we can get that out. For that we're first gonna cut all the wires that we can't remove. Um, we're not gonna need those um, anyways and they're gonna um, just hinder us taking the part out.
Okay, so this is the thing we're most after, uh, the microwave oven transformer. You can see the primary here, it's the thick wire, and the secondary here, it's the thin wire, uh, well insulated. Uh, the primary is connected to mains, 230 volts. Uh, the secondary uh, only has uh, one output here. The other output of, of the secondary goes right to the chassis. So you can see a little connection here. So basically the secondary is uh, the uh, casing and this pin here. And then there is a um, basically second secondary winding. Um, it's uh, the uh, for the filament of the magnetron. Um, it uh, produces about three volts. We're just gonna disregard that one here. So um, now I'm gonna move on and uh, take out all the little stuff in here. Uh, we have a cement resistor here. Um, this looks like a temperature fuse next to the cement res resistor. A relay, some micro switches, and that stuff. So this uh, this is a little thermostat, as I mentioned, uh, which shuts down the magnetron once it overheats. And this is the magnetron. Uh, now the point is, um, as you can see, this uh, is a rather old microwave. And in these old microwaves, uh, what was used are beryllium oxide ceramic uh, insulators. Uh, they um, can most easily be recognized by their pink color. Those are extremely poisonous if inhaled and uh, can cause uh, lung uh, diseases, uh, not unlike uh, if you're exposed to asbestos. So those are extremely dangerous and I would uh, highly discourage anyone from disassembling one of these uh, if you notice that there is uh, beryllium uh, oxide uh, insulators. So I will back down from this one, just throw them in the trash. Uh, as part of the microwave uh, and uh, not do anything with that. It's too dangerous. So now I'm going to disassemble the little snuggle circuit. Um, usually I leave those intact um, because uh, they can be reused just as they are. Just a uh, a little one-sided PCB containing a fuse, um, uh, a uh, inductor, and uh, some some capacitors. So um, I took out the knob that the previous owner, no doubt, manufactured uh, to replace a broken knob uh, of the microwave, and uh, the little bell thing and the timer. Um, is attached from uh, from within, so I'm gonna screw that up right now, and it should just fall apart. Okay, so um, here uh, you see the timer part, uh, which is a very standard part uh, among microwaves uh, that use mechanical actuation. Um, it's comprised of, uh, well, basically uh, the timing knob which connects to the front and uh, in the back there is a little motor uh, which through gears and then inside turns the knob backwards until, um, until it hits uh, its end position at which point uh, the bell will sound and it will shut down the microwave. We're pretty much done with this part now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the magnetron um, back in uh, because I don't want it, you know, flying around in there uh, to break the beryllium insulator. And uh, 
I'm just going to screw tight uh, so we can put it on the trash and be really careful here. Again, really the only parts that you can scavenge from taking apart a magnetron are those two magnets. They really aren't that strong and they're really not worth risking your health. So do not take this thing apart. So this is uh, the yield uh, of our treasure hunt. Um, it's uh, the Mott, a very, very nice piece here um, that we got. Um, it's a high voltage capacitor, one microfarad, uh, 1800 volts, very nice. Um, the snubber circuit that we took out um, can be useful. Um, a uh, small uh, thermostat uh, that we might be able to use. Some screws. Um, only one micro switch. Uh, I broke one upon taking uh, the cables apart and uh, I left another one in there because it was just too cumbersome. I have a whole bunch of them so that's not really sad. Um, two cement resistors, one 0.5 ohms, 10 watts, the other one uh, 20 ohms, I would say at least 10 watts, probably 17, 20, 20 watts. Um, a temperature fuse, one-time fuse, um, might be useful. The high voltage diode, uh, nice piece. Um, a uh, relay, uh, arm run actually. Uh, it is uh, actuated um, actuated with 230 volts also. Uh, now, many people don't take those apart because a 230 volts primary relay doesn't seem to be very useful, yet it really is. Take those out because when you're going to build, uh, for example, say you have a big transformer and uh, it's so so large that when, when you plug it in, uh, the fuse blows. Um, you can easily build a soft start. The transformer um, is uh, in series to a PTC or a resistor, uh, which is then shorted out using such a relay. So those are very useful. Keep those definitely. Um, the timing circuit and motor, uh, you can build bells from those, I don't know, play around with the motor. It's also actuated with 230 volts, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it is. Um, so, you know, uh, do whatever you like with those. And the fan, typically the most disgusting, greasy part of the unit. Um, doesn't seem to be uh, such a nice thing, but... Um, you don't really have to use that as a fan. As a matter of fact, uh, I use a lot of those um, after taking out uh, the rotor um, as a transformer because you can just, uh, when you have taken, uh, taken out the rotor uh, by taking this whole thing apart, you can just wind a primary on there and use that here as a secondary, um, as a step-up transformer. works very well. Okay, so um, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, take care. Bye.